Hello everyone, how are you doing? Thank you for joining me. Uh, so glad to have you here on another Saturday. How about we work on this uh, used car websites that we haven't touched in like a couple of weeks. I, I think I took a week off from it to record the other live stream about Laravel Reverb, which went great. Uh, that's it has received a lot of good feedback from you guys but yeah it's time to keep going with this project today is all about administration we are going to work on the admin panel we started uh, with the admin panel i think yeah last last time we worked on it we created a couple of tests for the admin panel just to make sure that we could render the um, list of cars, which is the index of the car resource. And also to make sure that we could display the table and make sure that that table had the records um, in it. But we are going to test way much more today. So as you can see in the agenda, we're gonna start with the car resource test. And if we have some time later, we could try and polish the car list itself on the admin panel because right now it has just a table and even if it had records, we could not see it because we have no columns on the table whatsoever. By the way, uh, these are the tests that we are going to do today. We are going to make sure that we can render the create page. We can create a car. We can upload the images for that car, update the car, delete the car. And when we delete the car, make sure that the images do not stay lingering in, in the server. So we delete the record, but before we do, we take away and delete the files corresponding to that car. I'll have the chat uh, next to me so I don't have to switch windows all the time, which takes time. So I'll have the chat window uh, visible at all times. So feel free to leave your comments and tell me how your day is going. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's get started right away. Let's not waste any more time. So this, um, in, in the interest of time, I prepared the test cases for this session so that we don't waste time just writing the test cases. Most of it you have already seen already. So it's just repetitive work. It takes, I think it's more effective if I just give you a rundown of what the test case does. And then we just run it and start working on the errors and fix the errors and make the test pass. The only other thing that I changed in this car resource test is the fact that I moved the acting as user to a before each method. This is because I'm going to be logging, I'm going to be needing to log in as a user for several tests. And instead of adding that line to each and every single test, I just move it to the before each and forget about it. And this is the same test that we have last week for rendering the index and testing the list of cars. The only uh, addition right now, the well, several, we have several tests here that I commented out. We'll be, we'll be covering those one by one. But for now, let's just begin with uh, rendering the create page, making sure that we can render the create page. And I, I expect this to pass right away because we do have a page but it doesn't have any form in it no no form fields so let's start by running actually before we even do that why don't we just comment this and let's run all of the test cases before we start making sure that nothing is broken and very good that we did because something is broken let's see which test case is that it shows a list of images 
this is in the car list test this is from way be way before actually hey hey rafael rafael pianaro hello hello how's it going man i'm doing great thank you so much uh i haven't <laughs> just realized i'm still in the way let me switch to it little me thank you for reminding me and uh yeah happy easter to you as well thank you for being here okay so sorry for uh being in the in in the way the whole time so yeah this test here i just ran all of the test cases and this one's failing let's go and check why it shows a list of images car list test uh which one okay we're we're right there and this is failing apparently can't see. oh i think i know why hmm. when we first created this test i was displaying the images as um text as output in in the in the page just rendering the image names but then we switched to the to the cards to the to the um I don't know how to call it. Just the the more visually appealing cards with the with the carousel and everything else. So instead of uh, showing the image names in the HTML, they sorry in the page, they are now in the HTML itself as background images for the for the carousel card. So that's e. That's why we have to switch to assert C instead of assert c text assert c text is going to look for the rendered output and assert c is going to look at the html itself so let's see if that fixes the problem and yeah that that was it perfect okay let's clear this and yeah, let's start testing. All right, uh, this one's gonna pass right away, I'm sure. If it doesn't, then there is really something really wrong. Good, <clears throat> no problem there. Uh, and just to show you how it looks, I'm logged in into the admin panel. If you want to know how to get there, well, first of all, um, I removed all the cars, if you can notice, because the idea now is to manage the list of cars by ourselves. So I removed all of the cars. And by the way, we are going to make some adjustments to the, to the database seeder later on. But more on that, more on that uh, in a few minutes. And to get to the admin panel, you just do admin, and there you are. Then move to cars, and there are no cars. But if you go to new car, which is what we are testing, you can see that the page renders, but there is no information there, which is fine. We just wanted to test that this works, and it does. So let's uh, move on to the next one render the car render the create page done now let's work on this one it can create a car so give, let me give you a rundown of what are we doing here first of all we create a new car for a brand and we create that car in memory we don't actually save it in the database because that's the purpose of the test. Then we use LiveWire test to mount the create car component, which was created for us uh, thanks to Filament when we created the car resource class. It also created a few components inside app, Filament resources, car resource, 
pages and we have a create car, edit car, and list cars. So it's mounting this one right here. So we mount that and then we fill that form using the fill form method, passing an array of uh, an array of data, and we set the model, the year, the price, the images, which if you recall, the images are cast as an array and they are they are stored as JSON in the database. So we have a JSON column in the cars table. And that JSON uh, information, that JSON column, then it's cast as an array. So we save that. We fill the form. There should be a form field for images and also the brand ID. And we use the brand relationship for this. Once we have the form field, we call the create uh, action on the form. And then we assert that the form has no errors. Fairly simple, right? After that, and we uh, once we have asserted that there are no errors in the form, we also need to check the database and we use the assert database has function from PEST. We check the table, the, the cars table, and we look for a record that has this information. The model, the same year, the same price, and for the images, as I said, since the column is stored as JSON, uh, I mean, as a string in, uh, in the database, I just need to use JSON encode to turn this array of images into a JSON, JSON string so that I can um, compare apples to apples. And then also the brand ID. All right, simple enough. We can start testing. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Let's run this. Oh, uh, there's some changes here. Let's save this, of course, because I uncommented it. And let's run this test. First error, integrity constraint violation. Sorry. Um, so uh, the car model cannot be null, which makes sense because if we want to save the car model, the form itself needs an input for the model. So we, we need an input for the car model in the form. Otherwise, we are just sending an insert into cars, but we are just passing these two columns, so nothing else. So let's open car resource, which is in app filament resources. And let's look for the form method. And let's, uh, let's add one column. So it's forms components text input. What are we looking for? This is the um, model. So the model is a text input. So we make one for the model, like so. And let's go ahead and make it required right away. So with that, let's test again. OK, new error. It's telling me that the model property needs to be um, allowed for mass assignment, which we currently don't have. You can follow two paths here. Either you completely open the model and unlock it so that um, all of the attributes are allowed for mass assignment, or we can do it one by one. In this case, I'm going to go with the one by one method because that's the more secure way to do it. So let's open the car model. And up here, let's add it right below the cast. So protected. 
P level. This is an array. And let's add the model. Run the test again. And we get we got past that we got past that error and now we have another constraint uh sorry integrity constraint violation but this time is for the year so we need another field go back to car resource i'm going to copy this one now notice what happens when i run this again uh did i say yes i did It's still complaining about the, the year. But if we uh, if you notice before, first it complained about the year and then about the mass assignment in the model. But now it's just not complaining about the mass assignment because we already have an array called fillable in the model. So it's not going to ask me to do that again. But now, even though we have a field in the form, we are still not allowing the year for mass assignment. So at the end, it's just going to send model and the updated add and created add columns. So the model is being passed in because of the mass assignment, but not the year. So at the end, we are not assigning the year in the table, which is not nullable. So what we have to do now, besides adding that form field, we need to go to the car model model or yeah model sorry it's the same word uh, we need to go to the car model and add the year for mass assignment now i'm not going to go through all of the fields because this is going to be a back and forth add a field add a form field well let's just do this one and then i'm going to do the rest at once so if i save and run the test again uh now it's complaining about the price so it's the same thing go to the form add another field go to the model add add the field for mass assignment so let's do all of them so that we can speed things up right so in the form again i'm going to copy this one this is for price so it's model year price let me check model year price images and brand id so model year price now for the images it's not going to be a text input uh, because we want to upload files so i'm going to use a file upload it's going to work and then for the model sorry for the brand we are going to use a select. Actually, let's put the select at the top. So it's no, not the price. Well, actually, I just didn't rename this. So it was uh, model year price. File upload is for images. And then the select is for brand ID. So yeah, this one goes to the top. Okay, now we have all of the form fields. Mm, the only thing that we're missing is the mass assignment. So let's go to the car model, uh, model year, price and then images and brand id right model year price images brand id okay with all of those changes and i know i'm cheating a little bit but since it's kind of repetitive, it doesn't make any sense to just 
take you through the whole process over and over again. So let's just save and run. And now component has errors, data images. What is this? Component has errors. Is it because it's not multiple? Oh. So this is a validation error, apparently. Hello, Ogi. How are you doing? Thank you for joining me. Uh, this is the validation error, right? Why is it a validation error? Mm, I think I know why. It's because of the factory, isn't it? Let me check. So, car resource test. Fillable in Laravel. It's a boring job. Hope one day it will be automatic. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a good protection, though. I mean, it's boring, yeah. And you have to make sure you add every single field into it. But the other option is to just open it up completely and go fully uh, mass assignable. But that can be dangerous sometimes. I mean, it's a, if it's a local uh, development and it's an example project, you can just open the model completely. But uh, yeah. I'd rather just go through the motions, do it once, and you don't you don't have to think about it again. Unless there is a new column and then yeah, something fails, something breaks. Which is good. Uh, I was gonna test so yeah, um I'm creating a new car here, but notice that I'm not setting any state for the images, and I'm pretty sure this is an empty array because the car factory it's passing an empty array of course you can use laravel idea plugin to automatically write it but you need jetbrains php storm to use yeah that's a good point Why haven't anyone done, why haven't anyone created that same plugin, but for VS Code? It buff, buff, buffle, it's uh, baffling to me, boggles my mind. There are not many, I mean, there are a few uh, good Laravel plugins for VS Code, but they're mostly for snippets, like, saving like saving you uh time like coding new classes or new models etc but laravel already does a lot of that with uh with the uh, with artisan commands maybe there is not enough incentive you know what i mean so just to fix this, I'm going to add this to the factory. Let's just do one.png and let's create a, like three images by default. Two and three. And that should take care of that error. And it does, but fail asserting that row in table cars matches attributes. Okay, now it's because of the uh, file upload form, because notice that the only difference here is we are comparing an array of three, three images and the database ends up with just one. And that is because we need to go to the car resource, no, not the car resource test, the car resource. Let me close this. And let's make the images component, which is a file upload, multiple. If you make it multiple, it can accept 
an array of images and then it's going to be casted as a json so let's see if that works run previews and yes so we're done with that now we know we can create a car using tests let me let me go and mark this as complete perfect now uh this doesn't mean that we can upload images because we're not if you notice because i haven't made any changes to the file system for testing if i go to let's say storage app public these are just old files in fact let me get rid of them Move to trash, move to trash, move to trash. And this all move to trash. So yeah, there is nothing there. And even if I run my test again, Even, the, even though there is a record in the database with the images and everything, we are not uploading the images, if that makes sense. So we need to test that as well. So let's move on to the next test. Let me close this and this. So this one's done. Now we have another test for uploading images so brief rundown again we create a car we've done it a few times again we make it in memory we don't save it to the database then this is the interesting part and i don't know if you if you follow my uh, other stream for the pet clinic you might be familiar with what i'm about to do but basically i'm creating a fake local disk called images right so that i can save the files in that fake storage and then i create one file only i only need one file to test this and i use the uploaded file class from illuminate http uploaded file i make a fake file and i call it image one and i call it one.png all right so i have a file it's fake now I can upload it. To upload it, I just fill the form again with the same data, but this time the images, I just pass an array with that file. And then call create again, assert that, assert that there are no errors in the form. And then I go to the database and fetch the first car record, which should have the image name but it has the temporary one, the hashed, the hashed image name in the model. We'll show you how that looks. Now I just need to make sure that in this disk images, which is fake, there is a file called um, basically the, the image name that it's in the model. So if that file exists, we're good to go. All right let's run the test and let's run through the problems because we will have many okay first error unable to find a file or directory at the path and this is the path it's not really a path it's just a file name and i'll explain why in just a second so it's actually looking it it actually uploaded the file saved it but it's not but now it's looking for that file in a different place right and actually if i close this terminal and then open my um, public folder in storage and in fact let's look for it in no let's keep in keep in storage so it did upload the file but it did it not in a fake storage disk 
but in my real uh, local storage. So the file is here and it's the same file name. Ending with WXM. And yeah, that's the file name. So what happened? And if you guess it on the chat, you guess you guess it on the chat. <laughs> You're smart, basically. So if you see here, I'm creating a fake storage. But Laravel and Filament are still using the configuration for the file system that is found in the .env file. If we look at the .env file here, the file system disk, it's local, meaning that it's going to use the local disk. It's not going to use my fake disk, it's going to use the local disk. And the configuration for this disk so there is this one and there is another one for the file uh, filament file system disk as well but i don't think that one is in this uh, by default filament is going to use whatever we have configured as um, as the file system for for let me organize my thoughts so the file system configuration is going to use local and that local configuration looks like this config file system local so it's going to use the local driver the root of the folder is going to be in storage app so the root of the folder is storage app and from there there is a public folder okay and I don't know about this throw false, but basically that's the local configuration. And filament, by default, is going to use this as well. So what do we have to do? We have to tell both um, Laravel and filament to use a testing configuration and look for a, look for a disk that it's not called local, but it's called images because that's the fake disk that we are creating, the fake disk configuration that we are creating. So how do we do this? Haven't guessed it yet. Where is it? phpunit.xml. This is where you configure your environment for testing. Granted, you could also create a separate .env file. I think the name convention is .env.testing and that's a valid option and you could have all of the configurations for testing on that file and that's what Laravel is going to use in filament for your testing but uh, since we already since we only have two environment variables that we had, that we want to change in this case so let's just do that in phpunit.xml so let's add two more entries here and let's grab file system disk put it here and the file system disk is going to be images because again that is the fake disk that i'm creating in my test and also so that filament knows about this there is another configuration variable called filament file system disk and this is also pointed pointing to images so with that and let me go and delete the file that we just created so let's go to storage app public and let's delete this So with these two, now Laravel and Filament know that when we are running tests, what I'm going to look for in terms of file system uh, drivers is the one called images. So let's run the test again. And now it passes. Passes and there is no file created. Perfect. So now we know that when we submit the form 
from the filament uh, create page, the resource create page, it is actually going to take that file and upload that file into my server and it's all going to work. Awesome. So let's go to the list and take that as completed. All right, let's work on updating the car. Close this, close this. What do you guys think about, and this is something I was thinking before starting the stream, how do, how do you guys feel about music in, uh, in, the, in your live streams? Because I remember that when I started doing this, I did have background music. And I don't really know why did I stop. Maybe it was because I was using a service that I didn't want to pay anymore. And if I stopped paying for that service, then I couldn't use any of their music. So I stopped using music in my live streams. But uh, there are other places that I that you can go and get like nice background music for free and copy no without copyright without copyright but i don't know what you guys think is is it more distracting that soothing or do you think it it will add to the ambience i don't know let me know maybe next time i can uh put it put in some tunes and have some relaxing background music Uh, so, first thing we're going to do is make sure that we can render the edit page. And to do that, we just create a new car in the database using create. And then we use the car resource get URL with the edit um, path or URL. And for that, in, in that URL, we have to pass a parameter called record. And that'll be the car itself so if we do that and we get an okay result then we're golden save and run and i'm sure this is going to pass well this images does not have a configured track well what are you doing now? Why are you complaining about the disk driver? I just set it up. I like I like background music as long as it doesn't disturb your audio. Yeah, I agree. I can maybe throw in a tune that is relaxed but very low, very low uh, volume, so it's not distracting. I'll try that next time. I have a few ideas. Why are you complaining about the file system if this test has nothing to do with the file system? Do you need me to create the storage, the fake storage again? That seems stupid. Seems so, let me try it. Why would you need the disk here for the edit? It's 
Is that going to work? So if that's the case, I should move that. Well, we'll see. I don't know if this is just going to be for this route or is it going to complain about it in the next test? But if it does, then I'll, I'll have to move that uh, storage fake up to the before each. Seems weird that it's needed, but I guess it's rendering the form and it's rendering the file upload and technically it needs to look for the images that have that are already in the database i don't know it's weird maybe for preview purposes because i know the file file upload component or the file upload field is going to show you the preview of all of the images and it probably needs the file system to go and look for those. Maybe. Either way, let's move on. So we can render the page and it works. Now we need to actually update the car. So again, we create a car, as we have done many times. We do create it in the database. And also we create a new car. This one we create in memory. We're going to use this second one, this new car, to update the first one. <clears throat> Sorry. Then we mount the edit car uh, component. We pass the record. Do we need to do it with get route key? I don't think so. So we pass the car as a parameter, fill the form with uh, model, year, price, images, and brand ID. We call the save action. Make sure we don't have any errors. And then we expect that uh, we are using car refresh. So we take the model that we create in the database and we run the refresh method, which is going to go to the database and um, refresh the model with fresh database data. And it should be equal. We use the um, expectation API from PEST to compare the model to the new car model, which they both should be the same because we use this one to update the former, and we do that for model, year, price, images, and brand ID. Um, first thing I'm gonna uh, see if I if I get any weird errors, I'm gonna go back to get route key again because for some reason that was there. I don't remember why. Okay, save that and run. no query results what are you what are you checking um, no query results for model huh okay as i said let me go back to get route key instead. Okay, apparently it doesn't like me passing the model itself as a parameter on the edit one. Where was the other one that I did this record car? Okay, so it does. I can't pass it as a as an 
as a complete model for the route or get URL, not so much as uh, the parameter for the for the liveware component. Makes sense. Okay, so what was the error? Uh, okay, disk images again. So yeah, I'm gonna have to move this to the before each. Let's go to the previous one. And let's move this line. What? I have one more. Okay, so yeah, here. Let's take this line from here and just put it in before each. And now we can get rid of that. From here. I don't need it here and should work in the update card test now. Save that. Run the test again. Perfect. All right, now we can actually update cars. We're moving at a swift pace. Let's do this last two, the leader car and the leader car images. We're going to delete the car in two places. First, it first we're going to delete it from the edit page. And very simple test, we create a car again, mount the edit car component, passing the record, and then calling the delete action. Now, this delete action is from filament actions delete action keep that in mind i'll tell you why in a second and then we just assert that the model is missing is there a um assert model missing yeah there is a best function for this so that we don't need to use this nomenclature here I like this one better. So yeah, after all of that, we just make sure that the model itself, it's no longer in the database. So save that and run. Cool, no issues. Well, kind of, because well, we'll deal. We will deal that. We will deal with the problem in a minute because yeah, we can delete a car, but the files are still there. So let's just walk through another place where we can delete the car from, and that is the list of cars itself. I do want the ability. It's not there by default, but I do want the ability to be able to delete a car from the list without having to click on it. Click on it, the edit button and then delete it. So pretty much the same test, create a car, except that this time we are, we are mounting the least cars components, least car, least car component, which has a table. So we need to call the, we need to use the call table action. Now the name looks a little funny because basically this comes from filament tables action delete action but i cannot use the same delete action uh, name because i'm using it here as well so what i do is it is i create um i create what's it called what's the word a duplicate basically just uh, i use another name for this class and I called it table delete action, but it's just filament tables actions delete action. So I call that table action 
and I pass the car record. So it's going to find that row in that table and call that action on that row. And then again, we just need to assert that the model is missing from the database. Now, this is going to fail because by default, as I said, Laravel, when, when Laravel, when Filament creates a new table or a new resource, the table doesn't have a delete action. So we need to add that. It's saying that the table action with name delete doesn't exist. The fail, fail asserting that table action with name delete exists on the list cars component. So let's open the car resource class. So don't, don't confuse, just because we are mounting the car list doesn't mean that we have to add the action there. We have to add the action in the car resource on the table method in the actions array. So here we do tables, actions, delete action, make. And then run the test again. Come on, do it. All right, so we can delete a car from the edit page and from, from the edit page and from the table. Now we need to make sure that before we delete the car record, we delete the image files, the images. So to do this, I have another test. Delete car images. So for this, we, I don't need this line. It's already in the before each, but basically what I'm doing here is I'm creating a new car in memory. I'm, up, I'm creating a fake file for that car. So a fake image for that car. I'm mounting again, the create car component, filling the form with all of the data, including that file, pretty much the same thing I did when I tested that I could upload images uh, when we create a car. And then I call create and that image is now uploaded and the record, the car record is in the database. So what I'm going to do now is grab that car, which is the first one in the database, and I'm going to mount the least cars component ca uh, class. So basically I'm going to fake the deletion from the list doesn't matter which one I use, the edit or the list. It's the same action. It should do the same thing. And that is make sure that the images or the image that I uploaded is missing from the, um, from the storage disk. I hope that's clear. So basically I just created a new car go through the motions of uploading that image and creating a new car. And then I just delete that car immediately and make sure that the file that I, that I uploaded, it's gone. Now let's run this and I am expecting it to fail. Yes. Found unexpected file or directory at path and that's the file name. Now, recognize that the path, when I create a fake disk, the root folder of that fake disk is just the storage uh, folder. There is no subfolders after that. That is why I can just use the file name when I'm doing the assertions here. I don't need to put in any extra folders because the file is uploaded copied and created 
on this image disk and the root file for that disk is just the root. There is no extra path or folders. So right now, the file is still there after I delete the record. So I think the last time I did this on the pet clinic, I used I used the event itself, the delete action, sorry. And I did a before um, event on that to uh, use the record and delete files. But since I have several several places where I delete this, this uh, record, I would rather do it in the model itself. So yeah. We can go to the car model and we are going to tap into the model events. You can do this by creating event classes and then having them listen to uh, the events. But for this example, I'm just going to do it in line, like anonymously listen to the events in the model itself. So we can do that with protected function boot, I believe. Is it static? I think it's static. Yes. So static protected function boot. This is going to run when you initialize the model. And here, I always forget the, the how this is written. Let me go back to documentation. My brain is not as good as uh, as I thought. Laravel.com. Look for model events. Where is it? Or just look for deleting. No, it's model. Is it here? Let me check. So eloquent, getting started, table names, retrieving models should be there is events i'm looking for the deleting which is it's going to, it's going to trigger just before deleting the model the deleted one is after the record has been deleted so we could go either way i'm just going to do it on the deleting event and there should be as i said before you could create uh, event classes like this and then just use the protected dispatches events to trigger or listen for those events in those classes but i like the closure route oh yeah here it is static colon colon in this case is created i'm going to use the deleted i'm going to copy this paste it here and in this case, it's not a user. We are expecting a car, a car instance. So this is going to contain the record that we are trying to delete. So let's run, since the images are an array, let's do a for each. Yeah, let's do it for each car images as image. And we can do storage 
I'm thinking about something. Let's see if my suspicions are true. So storage. And that is illuminate support facades storage. And we can do delete and just use the image. What I'm worried about is that this delete does need maybe an extra folder because the root of this of the local storage disk we'll see maybe we have to maybe we will have to do an extra check but let's first save this and let's run the test again On the find array key, add models car. What? What? Car resource test line 158 what's happening I don't understand this error. Undefined array key. What key? Where am I using a key? App model scar. It says it's in this line, but that line is for here. We've, we've done this before. Why is it not, not able to make a car? Any idea? Because I'm drawing a blank here. Maybe when this happens. On the find array key, what is that? Mm. 
Okay. Maybe it's because I didn't change this. You see... These are the times when whatever you do or whatever level you think, you, whatever level you are, 10 years, uh, junior, senior, we're all dumb. We're all stupid. I mean, I've been doing this for like, what, 12 years? And I still make the, I still make the dumbest mistakes. <laughs> Oh my god. So copy pasting my worst enemy. Let's see if that's the case. I'm shouting victory without even testing. Run previous. Still not working. That is the that is the model name, isn't it? User, user. Protected static function. Wow. Like, I haven't created a freaking function ever. Why? What are you... <sighs> so if I take that away... Jesus. If I take that freaking... Look, I don't know. <laughs> I can't read. Why, why, why can't I read? Boot it. Just hit the like button. Just do it. For my own sanity. Okay, all right, all right. Just uh, that just confirms that I am dumb and I can't read documentation. And you know this. This is the reason why sometimes I take like forever solving a problem just to make just to find out that if you read the documentation slowly, everything is fine. But yeah, now we uh, now it's passing, and let's pretend nothing happened. You didn't see anything, and now we know that we can delete the car images when we are done with the car. Awesome. Let's see how that looks because uh, a lot of testing we didn't see anything. Let's actually uh, test this for real seas. So we have the cars at least here, nothing in it. Let's create a new car. Um, right away, I don't like this layout. But let's just test it and then we are gonna move things around. Brand, there is no brand ID. That's because um, we made this a select, but we need the relationship here. So let's let's fix that. Let's go to the car resource. I'm going to close this and this car resource. Let's go to the form brand ID. Let's use the relationship brand. Brand. 
and also we need the title attribute and that's going to be the brand name oh but we don't have any brands in the database do we i don't think we don't i don't think we do hold on so i do that and then come back here not here here refresh oh i do i did there's a bunch of those that I, I thought I didn't do it, but I did it before the stream. So yeah, we have brands, but there is a long list of them. It took me a while to compile this, by the way. Not really. <laughs> oh, but we need, we are, I, I'll show you how I did it because I'm going to have to do it again for the cedar because I don't want to have to create this over and over again whenever I migrate the database. So I'll show you how to how I did this in a second. But before that, let's uh, since it's a long list, I want to be able to search. So searchable. And also preload. All right. There it is. So I do have, I pre-downloaded a few images for this. So let's say, let's browse an image. It's in the downloads folder. Let's start with this one. Honda Civic 2019. Select that. Looks good. Select another one. And I think you can select all three at once. We'll do that in a second, but I went the long route. So three, at least three images. See why I don't like the, the, the layout? This images uh, component is pushing the button way down. I'd rather just have that. Um, I'd rather just take that and move it here in this row, like right here. And then the rest of the fields, I can just put them in this row. So we'll do that in a second. For now, let's just create this car. So it's, an, it's a Honda Civic. Civic 2019. Let's say the price. Oh, I could do something with the price because if I do 14,000 with 14,000 what? Bananas? We don't know. So we're going to make a mask for this in the next card. Let's just make sure that we can create one. Um, 14,000, it's, it's all fine. And if I click create now, it's going to stay here and take me to the edit form, which is not what I want. So we're going to have, we're going to have to change that. We are going to have to change that too. So if click create and it's created. Uploaded the images, change all the names, but I can preview them, which is great. And if I go to the car list, uh, there is the row, but I can see the columns. So a lot of things to do. You guys don't mind if I go an extra 20 minutes, right? Just so we can see things nicely. So yeah, uh, let's work on the form a little bit. So let's create a couple of sections. So forms, oh, first of all, well, I think by default, yeah, the, the form is always uh, two columns by default. So let's create one section. With forms, is it layouts or components? Components section. Let's call this one car details. It's going to, when you make a section, 
uh, by default it's going to take the whole the whole um, space all of the columns <clears throat> so it's going to be full width <clears throat> and we want that to be just for one column so column span one and then schema and that's an array and let's create another one so let's copy this and this is going to be for the car images. Same thing. Now let's take brand, model, year, and price. Let's put it in the car detail section. And then the file upload. in the car images section and i know that i don't want the label in this one so hidden label and let's make it collapsible as well just so that we can erase it and just hide it to get more space back Okay, Let's see how it looks. All right, like it. Uh, let's work on that price. Uh, I said I wanted to make a mask for it. So did you know that in AlpineJS, oof, in AlpineJS, there is a mask input for money. See? It's going to do all of the work for you. And also, did you know that you can create that mask as is in filament? So you just have to, let's go here and see if I remember how it was. For the price, you can use mask. Look how it supports RawJS. So let's use that. RawJS. Make. Make or from. I think it's make. So here you, we can accept a string that it's going to take. It's going to take that JavaScript uh, string and put it directly and raw in the mask section of AlpineJS. So it's going to create a uh, a X mask dynamic. And we are going to take this string like so. No, actually like this. And just put it here. See if that works. Oh, also, let's uh, add a prefix with the dollar sign, just to be precise. Okay, there is the dollar sign, and if we do again fourteen thousand, there is the mask. But you need to stripe. You need to take away the commas because if we try to save it like that, it's not going to work. That comma is going to go into into the value. I saw how to do it in filament documentation. Let me go and check real quick. So if you go into filament documentation and look for mask inputs, input masking, and so an example here. Yeah, here we go. We have to use the strip characters and make sure that we take away the commas. We're not using it, the dot doesn't matter because uh, 
PHP um, in Laravel is smart enough to make to know that a dot in a string that is supposed to be a number, that's the decimals, but not the comma. So we need to make sure to take away the comma and make it numeric as, as well. So let's take those two. And go back here. Add those. And we're good to go. Now uh, let's create another card then. Go back. Refresh. And let me look for that. It's a Nissan Qashqai 2016. Can take all three images. Easy. So it's a Nissan. Cash Kai. I think that's the name, right? Cash Kai. Yes. What model is it? Twenty sixteen. Price, let's say it looks expensive, sixteen thousand. I'm just, I'm just making things up. So we can collapse this and the button is there. Oh, I forgot. We need to change this. So if I click create, it takes me to the edit page, which is not what I want. Let's go ahead and fix that right away. We need to open the car resource, create car. And because I always forget what's the method, one tip that you can use is in VS Code, I use F12 to follow the this class, the create record class. And then I do shift command O in Mac and look for get URL. And it's actually get redirect URL. That's the method that I'm using, that I'm looking for. And as you can see, this is where the redirect happens. If it has a view page, it's going to take you to the view page. If it doesn't, it's, look, it's going to look for the edit page. And if none of those exist, it's going to take you to the index page. But I just want this line here. So I'm going to overwrite this method here and just get rid of this to if statements. So I get the resource and then go to the index page right away after I edit or after uh, after I create a car. So save that. And to save us some time, let's actually do it in the edit page. Edit car, go to the edit record class, look for get redirect URL. It's actually giving me a null. Doesn't do anything. So let's copy this and let's override that here. Instead of returning null, let's take this and put it here. That should do it. All right, if I go back to cars, I have two records now. Let's uh, fix this table. I don't like to not, I don't like not seeing the record. So let's uh, go, let's uh, go to the table. So this is the form, this is the table, and we are going to need a few columns. Let's start with the images. Uh, we have multiple images for each car. And I think uh, Filament has a um, tables, columns, images, it has an image column. We can use the images 
which is an array. But we can also do stacked. So multiple images will show stacked one next to each other. But in order for them to look good, I thought maybe we can use round images with avatar. Or rounded? Was it rounded? Round. Let me take, let me check. I think it was avatar, but I'm not sure. Table builder, image column, and this private images size square images circular circular. That's the one. Stack circular circular. Save that. There it is. You can kind of see the images. You don't need to see the details, but you can kind of make um, how many images and what they are for, what they are like. So I like that. Uh, let's add also all of the other details. So tables, columns. It's going to be a text column make. And this is going to be the brand name. Sortable and searchable. Copy that for brand model. year and price you don't need this to be searchable only sortable and i do need this to be money okay see how that looks much 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 better all right cool i think there is uh another issue um with editing the images because i think we need to make sure that when we edit the images and we swap one of them um that the images the old images are deleted but I think I'm going to leave that for next week. But yeah, it looks good. It looks nice. We're making progress. I think this is a good stopping point. I went over like 20 minutes, but that's all right, because we did a lot. And we're making, making up for the lost time from last week. So thank you so much for showing up thank you for coming um if you found any of this helpful you know what to do just hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one